All right, let's have a look here. I believe this was a 410 16 break. Okay, number 13's left. Okay. Clearing 10. We got 110 left up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another brand new video to the channel. Uh, thank you all you guys uh, for stopping by watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys uh, subscribe, of course, if you have not already. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at today, as you guys saw a quick glimpse to the start of the video, we are checking out two 11 v 11 triples uh i mean like we always say i mean at town hall 11 what we see happening more and more and more is town hall 11 is just dipping especially in these competitive wars uh this was a potluck fysb matching uh pennington mob in the potluck splitting kind of the traditional premier breakdown 410 16 full disclosure uh pennington mob did have one of those town hall 10s was a 9.5 however fysb going perfect on dips and having three 10 v 10 triples allows for something like an 11 v 11 to happen so i'll go ahead and show you guys actually we'll start with number two you guys already know i like working from the bottom up all right we'll hit replay and hit pause for you guys uh real quick so in the competitive war scene, what we always look at is the Town Hall 10s hitting up, doing hit ups, and doubling the Town Hall 11s, you know, getting two stars. But again, in certain breakdowns, when you get enough 10v10s, it allows your clan for something like this an 11v11 opportunity. And not only that, again, we're going to be showing you guys both of them, but both of these attacks using the clone spell, this might be. One of the strongest 11v11 attack strategies, at least against a, an anti-two setup. Now, we know that there's the NDL, the No Dip League, and some people doing arranged wars uh, with um, No Dip style uh, type arranged wars, where your Town 11s have anti-three setups. Uh, but in the traditional, you know, CWL, the way it's set up, the way the meta is still to this day is Town Hall 11's running anti twos. And I'm telling you guys, this attack, once you see both of them, this attack strategy is completely wrecking anti two Town Hall 11's set up in a CWL type format. Uh, again, Town Hall 11's running anti twos. So we'll go ahead and hit play and watch. Alex do absolute work taking on dry hopper here and you'll see he's gonna be doing a sui hero lalo uh, down here starting the heroes at about six o'clock baby dragon just helping out on that dark elixir storage uh, just helping with some funneling but you can clearly see uh, right there once the king crosses uh, the enemy queen's white plane right there uh, he's going to be aggroing onto her uh, but you'll see queen is also going to be stepping up Right here, Pop's ability, Archers break that plane, and you'll see the Queen, two shots, the enemy Queen. So she is now down, and here comes the Hound Loom portion. So we have four Hounds coming out, uh, one of them coming out of the CC, and we have three Camp Hounds, two on each air defense. Just kind of did like a little eight-finger drop right there. But wait till you see where he pop, where Alex pops his Warren ability and where he uses the clone spell. So you'll see over on the upper right hand side, that's where he just popped his Warren ability simultaneously, uh, dropping down the clone spell on the other Inferno Tower, pretty much wrecking this base, moving those loons from one side to the other. And it really highlights, uh, we are seeing clone spell used a lot for the dragon attacks, aka clone bone. Uh, but using clone spell was something like this. Pretty much all the loons that he has left are what, guys? Are all cloned. He does have a couple camp, uh, a couple of his own loons, uh, camp loons. Right here, he has about two left over. But it was the clone loons that absolutely did work, especially catching that left side uh under the eternal tome ability from the Grand Warden. Uh, got pups helping to clean up. Grand Warren still live, still has a minion or two left over as well. Alice completely wrecking that base. 
So we have seen 11v11 triples. I'm sure a lot of you watching this have seen 11v11 triples. Using that, maybe not with the clone spell, but how many of you guys have seen this right here? Go ahead and hit replay. We got TD Keller coming in, uh, taking on number one Super Finch from Pennington Mob. Check it out. We have a free spell on this one. We have a clone spell. We got five haste. We have a rage. Check down, check down the troop bar, guys. Using CB Lalo. CB Lalo, 11v11. What is going on here? We're going to go ahead and hit play and watch exactly how uh, TD Keller breaks this base down. Starting the golem over here at about uh, 630. Heroes right behind. No wall breakers. Uh, we do have some high DPS from the Tesla. We have the Archer Tower. We have the Grand Warden doing some work on that max new max level seven golem but providing a, a huge amount of tanking for these heroes uh, just pop king ability and we have queen stepping up she's also going to be creating a nice funnel uh queen enemy queen is down she's also going to be taking out the air defense and this archer tower here comes all the loons uh dropped about two-thirds of his loons on this on this initial deployment also has some loons coming in at about 230 he's going to do the same thing over at about 830 uh just to kind of meet all these loons up here comes the clone spell ended up cloning the hound i'm not sure if that was intentional did get a few loons uh cloned as well nice freeze on the back end uh go ahead go, went ahead and pop grand one ability pretty much swag that as the warden unfortunately uh started to head left uh, I, sw I, sh I swear that Grand Warren ability could have been swagged, only used it for an expo, had a beautiful freeze on the back end IT, and there is absolutely nothing left of this base after the beautiful haste spell deployment did have five haste on this attack. All defenses down at this point. Guys, we have FYSB coming in on potluck, running a 410, getting three 10v10 triples, two 11v11s that you guys just saw unfold using the clone spell. I want you guys to let me know and let the other subscribers know down in the comment section below uh, what you guys think. 11v11 on an anti-2 setup using the clone spell. Absolutely loved it. Uh, and again... The one you guys just saw was a CB Lalo getting the enemy queen, grabbing an air defense, and a few other air tar targeting defenses before he went ahead and started that loon deployment. Absolutely loved it. Pretty much swagging that Grand Warren ability uh, on that second attack. Uh, huge shout out to FYSB. They are just completely wrecking bases left and right. Uh, they just had a random matchup against Bad Intentions, picking up five 10v10 triples. Absolutely huge. I love the work that FYSB has been doing and has continued to do for quite some time now. Uh, big shout out to them. Shout out to Pennington Mob and shout out to all of the subscribers. We are so close to 2,500 subs. I mean, I cannot believe what has happened to this channel. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the attacks down in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you guys like the video if you liked it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.